Yeah, Om Shanti. Today's Burli is dated 12th November 1972. The title of today's Burli is Art of Performing Alokic Actions. Have you become an Avyat image? That is, have you become an embodiment of the experience of a stable stage of being extremely loving and detached whilst playing your part through that body. You are not one who is constantly trying to maintain a balance of being the master and the child and playing the part, but you have easily become an embodiment of this, have you not? Or is it that when you become the master, you forget to be the child, and when you become the child, you forget to be the master? Be the master in one moment and the child in the next. Can you be a karma yogi in one moment and then in the next moment go beyond the body and actions or its results and become a yogi merged in love? Very important line. Have both your thoughts and actions become equal? Or is there a difference between your thoughts and your actions? So being a karma yogi in one moment and then in the next moment, go beyond the body and action. And to become a yogi merged in love has got a direct connection with our thoughts, words, and actions. Are they equal? Then Babdada says, or is there a difference between your thoughts and your actions? Have you developed the practice of creating a thought and instantly putting it into a practical form? Practice, develop the practice of creating a thought I'm a master of my thought, words, and action. Have you travelers of the pilgrimage of remembrance come that close? Is our stage that close? Do you experience both of these stages to be easy and close? Sahaj and Samit, easy and close, having had Many experiences on the pilgrimage of remembrance have you become knowledgeful and powerful. On a pilgrimage, you have milestones every now and then from which you can tell how far you have come and how far you still have to go. So too, how many milestones have you travelers of the pilgrimage of remembrance passed by? That is, how many stages of remembrance have you already passed? What is the last and final stage? Are you able to see and know it as clearly as when something is close in front of you? 
so as near as clearly as when something is close in front of you so that you are able to see it and recognize it in the same way are you able to see and know your destination clearly and easily or is it still so far away that you cannot see it so this is a checking which we baba has given us giving us lot of checkpoints lot of probing questions which probe the stage of a soul and then accordingly we can put efforts we can do conscious efforts are you able to see it or do you only know it so there is a difference between seeing knowing and becoming an embodiment or have you come so close in front of it that it seems that you have reached your destination and are experiencing it for a short while that is to become an embodiment do you have that experience then why do you not stay in that experience that is a stage of being an embodiment lakshan lakshan becoming one soul so is it that you experience that stage but that you do not know how to maintain that stage why are you not able to maintain that stage constantly what is the reason now baba says once you have become an embodiment does this stage of experiencing or being an embodiment stay constantly or it fluctuates so what is the reason if it doesn't stay constantly service or actions performed by brahmins are called alokic actions such alokic actions or godly service can never become instrumental in bringing your stage down underline the word alokic actions beyond this world soul its consciousness is beyond this world every thought every word and every action originates from the stage of beyond the world so such alokic actions or godly service can never become instrumental in bringing your stage down if a soul experiences coming down because of alokic actions it means that soul does not know the art of performing alokic actions underline performers who show their talents in a circus show their talents in every action their every action is an art in the same way it's a wonderful example baba is giving us a circus where the artists perform every action in an artistic manner it's an art in the same way can you elevate its souls who are karma yogis constant yogis easy yogis and raja yogis not perform every action with the art of being loving and detached just as so many people desire to see the art of those people who use their physical bodies so to the souls of the entire world will come with the desire to see the art of your intellects and the art of your alokic actions wonderful lines see such kind of highest elevated self esteem baba is giving us we are the show piece on the world stage we are the those <coughs> world class artists in this world circus we are the hero actors so will you not show this talent those people are able to mold every organ of their bodies as and how they wish for us for as long as they wish this is their art 
in the same way can all of you not stabilize your intellects for as long as you want wherever you want and when you want underline stabilizing intellects so being a master i am the master of my intellect i stabilize it as long as i want wherever i want and when i want so this is a game of the physical body whereas here it is a matter of the intellect those who know this art become 16 celestial degrees full with this art you are automatically able to develop all the other arts all the other virtues all the other powers become all the other treasures become 16 celestial degrees full means 100% full such a soul conscious stage easily cools down all the vices so this is an art how to cool down all the vices instantly being a master of the intellect in the same way the art of the intellect can make you full of all virtues that is it can make you complete with all virtues so to what extent have you practiced and experienced this art this is a very good question which we need to ponder on how much time are we devoting to practice and master this art and experience this art every moment if all of you were to receive the direction now to become bodiless in a second would you be able to do this are you able, able to stabilize yourself at this stage in a second so we'll do this exercise after reading the complete boldly and practice this for the day today whole day we'll order our intellect to become bodiless to experience the bodiless stage in a second so at a time when you are very busy in performing actions and you receive the directions from the director then what should you do if i am an actor on this world stage i receive the direction from the director when i am very busy in performing actions then what should i do it is also just as when a battle is about to begin so baba is now <coughs> giving example of a battle field it is also just as when a battle is about to begin and you are given the order by the commander by the supreme commander to leave your home at that very moment what do you have to do then you definitely underline the word definitely have to do that so if bab dada suddenly gives you a direction to leave the home of your body to leave the stage of body consciousness and to become soul conscious to go beyond this world to your own sweet home would you be able to do that you will not stop on the battlefield will you so go beyond the battlefield soul consciousness stage to your sweet home so you will not waste your time on the battlefield now what is the battlefield wondering whether one should go or not will you will it be all right to go or not should i take this or should i take that or should i leave it behind all these waste thoughts is a battlefield so you waste your time thinking about these trivial things in the same way if you spend your time in battling when you have to become bodiless then what marks will you get or into which division will you go into in the final paper now baba is was telling about all these you know the circus the battlefield these were the analogies to signify the final paper 
if you remain battling then will you go into the first division during the final paper so have you gone beyond and become ever ready to this extent going beyond the battlefield becoming ever ready by doing this service by doing this practice and service your stage becomes even more powerful the more practice we do the more experience we do the experience and it makes the stage very powerful because it is your elevated stage that will bring about the transformation of the circumstances of the present time stage matters how elevated the stage is and everything else is trivial most important is the stage so what is your aim of doing service now baba is asking me what's your aim of doing service or what are you doing service pause think and then recommence the efforts so you are doing service to bring about transformation of the circumstances are you not and the transformation of circumstances baba says depends on the elevated stage if your stage remains ordinary while doing service then is that service after that says there are four main subjects of the pilgrimage of remembrance through which you can check how far you have come even now some people have the stage that they had before what is that stage that of being separated vyogi separated from father supreme father the second stage is that they become combined yogis after being separated the third stage is that they become cooperative sahyogi after being yogis they start cooperating love and cooperation with the other yogis with the god and after being cooperative the last stage is of being one who has renounced everything sarv tyagi sampoon tyag while keeping all these four subjects in front of you check how many steps you have climbed these are the four stages in that order vyogi yogi sahyogi and sarv tyagi sarvans tyagi while keeping all these four subjects in front of you check how many steps you have climbed to what extent have you climbed up so even now you do not become separated again and again do you <coughs> do you move along while being constantly combined and cooperative if you have any obstacles then to be influenced by the obstacles means to be separated so you do not become separated do you can obstacles finish the accurately combined stage does the do the obstacles of influence my stage is what baba is say asking that would make you forget having awareness of the father in case obstacles are affecting me i stay then i'll forget having awareness of the father to forget means to become separated so your stage of being combined a yogi should become constant just as the soul and the body have a path together so that they cannot be separated in the same way remembrance of the father should not be separated from the intellect to have constant company in the intellect that is remembrance of the father such a soul is called a yogi soul such souls are not attracted by any other awareness underline this is a checkpoint not attracted by any other awareness other than remembrance of the one and the only one father just as those who have less power are not able to do anything in front of an elevated power this is a science 
a high power influences a low power not vice versa so in the same way if you have remembrance of the almighty authority then there cannot be remembrance of anyone else in the intellect because every anyone else or anything else is a low energy almighty authority is the highest power highest energy just in the same way ava say such ones are called easy and natural yogis so powerful stages easy and natural yogis those people just say this but here you are natural yogis in a practical way so have you become such yogis such yogis are definitely cooperative in every thought word and deed at every second if they are cooperative in their thoughts but not in their deeds or if they are cooperative in their deeds but not in any one situation then such souls are not called souls who have reached the stage of being cooperative if even one thought passes by without cooperation then that is said to be a wasteful thought see the definition of a wasteful thought even one thought passes by without cooperation those who waste anything unnecessarily can never be cooperative with anyone nor be powerful within themselves but souls who are cooperative and total renunciates servants tyagi who easily renounce everything and everyone other than god are easily loved by all since even on the path of devotion when people donate in the name of god they attain a perishable lower royal status then just think how elevated the attainment will be of those who use every thought every second cooperatively for godly service underline such souls easily become great donors who have renounced everything means every worldly thing such souls who have renounced everything easily become the most fortunate souls at present as well as in the future not only in the future but when many souls see the elevated fortune of such souls at the present time they sing the praises of their fortune from experiencing it on the basis of their own elevated fortune they become instruments to enable others to become fortunate so they become an example they become a sample they become instrument to enable others to become fortunate so just see which stage you have reached out of these four subjects that is how close you have come to your destination acha to such easy and natural yogi souls love remembrance and namaste from bab dada now there's a personal meeting because of this brahman life being the last birth no matter how weak or ill you are physically and when and whether you are able to move along or not you have been given wings to fly with your mind underline the wings to fly with your mind you cannot move along with your body but you can certainly fly with your mind because bab dada knows that you have become weak from wandering around for 63 births the bodies have become impure and so they have become weak and ill however everyone's mind is healthy you may not be healthy physically but none of you are ill in your mind are you everyone's mind is flying with the wings sign of a powerful mind is that it is able to reach wherever it wants in a second are you that powerful we need to check is my mind that powerful am i a master of a powerful mind or i am having a weak mind so or do you sometimes become weak since the mind knows how to fly and a master knowledgeful soul the mind knows how to fly and it has developed that practice that art it can reach where it wants in a second one minute it is in the physical world in this battlefield and the next minute it is in the supreme abode the sweet home because it has the speed of a second do you have such a fast speed again this is a checking question we'll think over it now while constantly singing songs of your fortune continue to fly 
so this is a good method at amrit vela constantly keep one or another new point in your awareness note down the diary of the intellect and emerge it you have received many types of fortunes and many types of attainments sometimes keep one attainment in front of you and sometimes keep another type of attainment in front and your efforts will be very entertaining you will get entertainment you will never get bored in your efforts and you will experience newness novelty otherwise some children such just keep on saying i am a soul i am a child of shiv baba etc all the time however <clears throat> keep in your awareness all the fortunes all the titles all the treasures all the types of awareness soman that the father has given to you make a good list of those the list of the different types of awareness is so long sometimes keep the treasures in your awareness sometimes keep the powers shaktis in your awareness sometimes the virtues the deity virtues sometimes the knowledge and sometimes the titles there is always entertainment in variety whenever there is an entertainment program there will be a variety you know the the, the bouquet of various types of programs like variety variety of dances a variety of food and you will meet a variety of people from diversified backgrounds for only then is there entertainment is this not so so here to keep a variety of things in your awareness your intellect in your mind in order to be entertained cha om shanti we'll take a pause for a minute and then we'll ponder on we'll share our answers to those questions baba asked today om shanti Om Shanti, Divine Family. Uh, we can start sharing our experiences or the answers to the questions which Baba asked. Om Shanti. Om Shanti, brother. I really like that question that. can you fly in one second and reach wherever you need to go your mind because your body may at times fall ill but your mind is always alive and active and um, i'm i feel very blessed when i say this that i actually feel that that part i have managed to attain to a large extent in one second reach anywhere but what i still need to practice is the part about the vyogi and sahyogi and the total tyag yogi and i think that's my lesson for today that i really need to work hard on that aspect as well om shanti thank you sister wonderful baba has given us two examples to practice and experience the elevated stage the how to check that the soul is at elevated stage or or not which are those two examples anyone may answer the or share the experience 
which are the two stages where baba gave example to which are the two scenarios baba gave the example of like two the example scenarios. of circles circles and, and that you're on the battlefield you won't battle. think should i you know continue getting fighting towards my soul conscious state or should i back off i mean Exactly, you will just exactly. yes yeah so and you have to just one, continue hmm. yeah one second can be lethal can be fatal one second delay you're gone finished one missile attack or one kind of uh, bullet and uh, if you, we keep thinking what should i do i should go right i should move left or what should i do where should i take cover finish that's the final paper these two scenarios baba has given us circus also the one second delay in reaching a point finish you will fall down this the artist can fall down and it could be lethal could be fatal both circus and battlefields are very similar scenarios there you know the dangerous it's a very risky uh, affair and that's for the final paper will test accuracy the speed and the power so wonderful the scenarios how can we apply it practically today is murli baba is focusing on the practical practical implementation because that's why baba gave example of intellect mind these are practical things which we use these are practical tools which we use every moment in our day daily routine so starting from amrit vela till going to sleep intellect is always on work on the move mind is always working how do we anyone can share on that how do we uh work on intellect and mind what are the tools and techniques baba has given us to make the intellect and mind fly i am the master how to be how to become the master om shanti brother om shanti um coming to that if you just see the whole murli rests on drills baba is everywhere just asking from here to here from here to here master to child karma yogi to yogi knowledge sometimes they are together knowledgeful and powerful so everywhere if you see it's a drill and we are so used to this kind of a second drill which baba used to take us those days when he used to come down he used to always give us those kind of drills for a moment so anything over here a drill i love that example of a circus see when you go to a circus you'll see how does that acrobat how does he start first he holds a rope and then he's standing you know there is a kind of a foot thing on which he stands so each eyes he just weighs when he takes a swing and then he goes there and then he has to come back if he falls down that means he has not performed the circus well so we all think what if he falls down of course there's a net to support him down to see that he doesn't get injured but the real circus is when he leaves that foothold he has got a rope in hand he swings goes to the other one and there are multitude of actions he may join with another soul he may join with the third soul and then rebound and come back again to the foothold i think that's a beautiful exercise which analogy has given so same way over here when baba speaks even though he has said four subjects it is actually a stage i am first separated so how far is that yogi stage i am separated from the body i am separated and then i am combined so this is the main thing to be separated and be combined 
be separated and be combined. Then only I can be a cooperative. Even though he has meant the four stages, I think we should take this remembrance like a, a drill, go up, come down, go up, come down. And if I'm able to do, I would not be ordinary. I would not be lockic. I would be alokic. I would be unique. I think this is the theme which Baba tries to emphasize. And he also tells how to use my physical bodies, how to use my intellect. So for me, the example of a circus, like going and coming, uh, I think that's a good way to practice Om Shanti. Yes, thank you, sister, for such a beautiful explanation of this uh, scenario, this uh, example Baba has given. And also, I was just thinking <laughs> the when uh, the artist swings. So uh, now every moment is a risky, you know, it's, uh, it is very, very important that every moment, the accuracy of one second or the uh, split seconds is very important. The artist does, is not conscious of that. Artist makes it natural. He tries to make it as natural and easy at, as it can get. So that he starts enjoying that uh, swing, you know. And when he starts enjoying, he, he practices a lot. Before we see the circus, we don't know how much practice that artist has done uh, behind the stage and before the event. Uh, then, uh, you know, that kind of practice makes it natural and easy. It becomes his second nature or you can say net nature itself. So then he's easily able to enjoy and then every uh, thing falls in place. Everything becomes accurate. Anyone else? But the strength of that circus person lies in that first thing. Remember the rope which he catches first. You see the whole one. And then when, if it's just going and coming, it's only the rope. And then it is also on that second person who correctly holds him and puts yes, it on yes. together. So my and hold with my resource, Baba, my atmosphere, my vibration, everything I'll have to first clean up if I really need a good surface. Yes, yes, sir. But at the same time, if suppose other person, there are always two persons, I mean, normally, the artist and the co-artist, where the artist will go and, you know, then uh, leave the... Uh, that uh, cradle and then uh, uh, pick up the hands of the other artist and then swing some more and then again that by the time that the cradle will again come back to him and then so here if some mistake of the other soul is there this the, if the soul is very powerful it will take care of that mistake also it will be alert and uh, you know what I'm trying to say is he he'll cater for that little errors also and because of the powerful stage and the practice that soul has done. So, I mean, we can say, but if it is a gross, very big mistake or something, then obviously it will, he may fall down. So, what if I'm combined thing. with that other artist? Why should I take him as a separate other than me? If my thoughts and all those people in that process till I return, I take it as a combined form. One, I don't look at him as different. Then his energy is different. My energy is different. My energy is dependent on his energy. No, the whole thing, I take it as one. If, if I, then only it can work. If I'm going to take him as another person, I have to be dependent on, yeah, he may do a mistake. So yeah. it's all- The key point one. is I need not be dependent on anyone. That is the key point. Means, means these, uh, I am playing the circus here. I am an artist here. So that's my art. To play the circus is my art and how natural I have made it, how easy I have made it. That is what is the key. If I'm making conscious effort again and again, becoming uh, too much conscious about it, then I may lead, it may lead to a, an error. So practice should be at such a deep level of intellect and mind that it becomes my second nature. It becomes part of my, you know, I need not be, uh, uh, I need not be very, very conscious of it. It's my flair. It's become my habit. 
it's become my nature that's what baba says so uh, I, but the, the source of that will be the remembrance of baba because he is the you know director of the circus he is the main whether battlefield he is a supreme commander so i need to always look at his directions and become naturally catch those directions and they the, follow those directions will always be accurate will always uh, lead to my success and elevated states so we may also share on other points tamburli has brought out it is other questions also like how to go beyond and uh, beyond the body beyond the world in a second and uh, how to become a yogi merged in love have the thoughts and actions become equal and even may share on this we have a minute or so om shanti um, om shanti i like the two checks which had to be made compulsorily that is if you are uh, in the elevated stage during do, during doing seva that means you are have having the star art of uh, performing alokic actions and the other check is that uh, if you have to check on your wasteful thoughts if you are uh, if you are constantly thinking about cooperating with others then you are uh, going uh, correct but if you are not if you are thinking something else other than that that means you are not uh, yogyuk and you are making wa- wa- creating wasteful thoughts om shanti yes wonderful yes these two check points we can actually practice very nice Did you could just churn, churn this paragraph you know i uh, it's a little too deep where baba is saying just as the soul and the body have a part together so that they cannot be separated this one point remembrance of the father should not be separated from the intellect for a yogi soul remembrance could you just please churn on that remembrance of the father should not be separated from the intellect for me it is something together i don't know where does the separation take place sister uh, this is uh, analogy which baba is giving from the physical world the soul has taken this cloth body and soul wherever soul travels through the intellect or mind will again come back to the body isn't it same way when i am doing an action when the soul is doing an action soul is using the body and uh, soul is uh, a karma yogi here in this world in the battlefield and after finishing that action soul again you know merges with the i mean in remembrance with the supreme soul so it's connection and connection with father and coming back to the world and doing the action and again connection with the father so this example has been given to show the intimacy between the soul and the supreme soul the level of intimacy uh, it should be equal to the way the soul is intimate with the body you know soul always uh, that's uh, that's the most closest uh, relationship soul that is the purush and the prakriti this is the closest relationship so, so does my relationships with the supreme almighty authority god is as intimate as this soul and the body so that is the analogy anyone may even else may also share uh, insight into this if they want so sister have you understood what i'm trying to bring out or does that satisfy your question um yeah i think a little so in the intellect the important ingredient of my intellect is remembrance so if that's the very important recipe for the intellect because the intellect is like the dominating husband you know to see that the mind doesn't wander so if he has to hold the mind in check 
the intellect has to have this kind of i won't call it as a stick or something i would say a controlling point is remembrance so just like if the body and soul are separate nothing the soul can do nothing cannot see cannot do so whatever the soul the does it comes back to the body because it needs the body that together as long as i'm there in this it needs i think that's what i got to understand so important ingredient for the intellect is remembrance so every time i should check whether that is full stop in the thing for being a yogi so that's what i understood from what you explained yes yes exactly intellect plays a very important role of being a processor or uh, like in a computer the processor so intellect processor checks at every point about thoughts words and actions intellect plays a very important role so i think if anyone has uh, any uh, further question or any further experiences to share om shanti yeah uh, today baba also gave the definition of newness that if you want to bring about the newness then you should remember your attainments the your past attainments and on the on the basis of those attainments you should uh, ha- have the practice of coming into actions and then uh, there there will be uh, you will be able to move further in life then that is newness according to baba om shanti yes yes very beautiful uh, yeah you recall this was a this was yet another important aspect from the today's holy and also baba says seeing knowing and becoming uh, embodiment or experiencing these three stages also baba spoke about huh? so while we are recalling the attainments in our awareness we need to see whether we are just seeing them or we are knowing them knowing means the significance how it relates to my practical life and then becoming an embodiment experiencing them so that my every thought every word and every action reflects that energy because the awareness is full of energy so yes you just sister has shared uh remembrance to be merged in intellect always remembrance an important ingredient of intellect yes and then yogi yogi is merged in love of baba yog yog means connection association or merge everything everything is just remembrance accurate and deep yes so now we move to the meditation part for a minute and then we conclude the session so let's be seated on an elevated stage of remembrance of the one and the only one the supreme soul supreme father the creator of all the souls the almighty authority and on this stage whilst i am playing the role on the battlefield i am playing the act in this world circus deep within at the soul stage soul consciousness stage i am one on one with the supreme father from whom i am drawing all the attainments all the powers all the virtues every moment every second which is making my every thought 
and every action powerful in alignment with the shrima i'm a world performer world class thinker having newness in every thought having a variety of experiences with every relationship with the father i experience entertainment with the father he is my supreme entertainer whenever i get bored in this world i log on with him i log in and with this alokic network my every action becomes alokic om shanti 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 over to rakhi sister om shanti om shanti Yeah, go ahead, Amy. Om Shanti. Thank you, Om Bhai. Thank you, Divine Family, and see you tomorrow at 5 a.m. Till that time, have a lovely day. Thank you.